Hey guys, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy, where I teach you guys the very best tips and tricks to owning and operating a Rust server. On this channel, I do a lot of plugin reviews and tutorials so that you guys know exactly what to expect as you're struggling your way through owning your own Rust server. And as you well know by now, there's going to be more than one complication that you come across. Hopefully I can answer some of those questions for you. So first of all, if you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on. And if you want to get notified every time I upload a new video, make sure you turn on the notification bell and turn it to all notifications. If you take any value out of this video that you're currently watching right now, do me a big favor and smash that thumbs up for me. It helps me out a lot, costs you nothing, and it makes the YouTube algorithm really, really happy. If at any time you feel like you want to help support this channel, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash srtball. All right, now that we have all the business out of the way, let's get on to the good part of the video. So if you guys have watched any of my previous tutorials, lately I've been doing a lot of stuff on just plugin and quality of life improvements for your players on your servers. And I haven't really touched on admin tools very much recently. And by admin tools, I'm talking about if you've watched my entire library, you know that I've done tutorials on admin menu and permissions manager, stuff like that. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about stuff that doesn't actually affect gameplay, but can be a valuable resource as an admin or a moderator. And the tool that I want to tell you about today is called Player Administration. It's available from the UMod website. I'll put a link to it in the video description down below like I always do. So there's a couple of different things that you need to know about this plugin. Will it work for me right out of the box? Yes, it will. Are there some extra plugins that we can add to this that is going to make it work even better? And the answer to that is yes. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to install this plugin just bare bones, just the way it is coming right out of the box onto the test server. And then I'm going to show you how it responds in that type of a scenario. And then I'm going to show you the different plugins that you can add to it, which this plugin can then control. So I'm going to go ahead and download this and install it on the test server. If you haven't seen how that process works before, make sure you check out the YouTube card in the top right hand corner right now. It takes you to a video that shows you exactly how to install a UMod plugin and what to expect while you're doing so. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of this. I'll see you guys in just a second. As you can see there from the highlighted section on my server console, you can see that the plugin was compiled and installed correctly. Let's hop into the actual server itself so that I can show you guys exactly what this is doing. All right, so here we are on our test server. And just in case you guys wanted to know, this is actually a custom built map by my very good friend, NoobCakes2011, who loves tinkering with maps and creating us some new environments to play on. Anyways, back to player administration. So the default command for player administration is slash p admin, and it looks just like that. And of course, as I expected, we don't have the permission to use this plugin yet. So let's go ahead and deal with that real quick. So if you guys have ever watched any of my previous tutorials on how to deal with permissions and stuff like that, you know that I have two tools that I use to deal with permissions. One of those is Permissions Manager by Stina Maru, and it is free, but it's only available from his website. Click on the card in the top right hand corner to be taken to that video. And this is what Permissions Manager looks like right here. So we can very quickly go through and we can control the different permissions that are available for this specific group, which happens to be admin at this time because we're testing an admin plugin. But as I'm sure many of you know, I actually prefer to use admin menu. However, admin menu is a paid plugin and it's available from Chaos Code. I also discussed this plugin in the video that I just posted just a minute ago. And this is what admin menu looks like. While I do prefer admin menu, it's simply because I've been using it for longer. I hadn't been introduced to permissions manager until actually quite recently. So I've only just started using permissions manager on a regular basis, maybe in the last six to eight months. Prior to that, which three to four, almost five years, I've been using admin menu, even though it was a paid plugin. So anyways, let's go into group permissions let's go into the admin category let's go over to player administration and here's our list of permissions that come with this plugin each one of these is fairly self-explanatory some of these permissions are functions that can be performed inside the GUI other permissions on this list are protections so that these commands can't be used against you by another admin or moderator. So if you have multiple people that are admins or moderators on your server, you definitely want to apply these protections in place. Otherwise you could really screw up somebody's day. Take this one right here, for example, player administration.protect.ban. So if we apply this permission to the group called admin, which is the group that we're working in right now, it will make it so that anybody that has this permission is protected against the GUI from ever being able to ban them. And I know you guys haven't seen the GUI yet, so don't worry, that's coming up next. We just have to deal with these permissions first. So what do we want to allow our admins to be able to do once they're inside this GUI. We want to allow them to freeze. Yes. Do we want to allow them to ban? Yes. Do we want them allowed to clear inventory? Yes. Anyways, you can see my point here. You just want to go through this list and make sure that you're only giving the permission that you want your administrators to be able to do while they're inside player administration. 
So what you're looking at here is a pretty standardized structure. If you only had a single admin or a single moderator, you didn't have to worry about putting these protections in place, which is what this section is right here, then this would be a pretty standard setup. The one thing that I might maybe take away to make it so that nobody was able to do this is resetting blueprints. I don't necessarily want anybody on my servers to be able to click a button that is gonna reset a player's blueprints that they've already learned. I think that's a little bit uh, volatile. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good there. We're gonna run with this and let's see what this GUI actually looks like. So again, like I said before, slash padmin in chat, and it brings up our GUI, it looks just like this. So this is the main page right here, but let's go over to online players. Actually, let's check offline players. So I actually do have some offline players on my test server, which is quite strange because there's really nothing to do on here, but whatever, that's okay. We're gonna use this in a little bit when we're checking into other players' inventories. So let's just go to online and let's just deal with me. So if I click on my own name, you can see on the left-hand side there, it gives you a lot of information about that player their Steam 64 ID, whether they're alive, whether they're awake, et cetera, et cetera. If you're running economics on your server, it's also gonna tell you how much money they have, how many reward points they have. It, it tells you a lot of information about that player. So if we look at the center section, you can actually see a couple of the functions that you're able to do to this player. In this case, we're just talking about me, but you could use this on your own servers and you would have other players that you could perform these functions on. So we can clear the inventory and seriously, if you click that button, it's just gonna wipe out their inventory. It's not like it takes it and puts it into your inventory. It literally just deletes it. And we can do all sorts of things. If we wanted to put a reason in here, we can put, uh, we can just put in ban reason, whatever the, whatever the reason is, and then we can just click on the ban button. It will add that player to the ban list. It won't kick them, but it'll add them to the ban list. If you want to kick them as well, then you just click on the kick button right next to it. And now that player is kicked from your server and banned from ever re-entering your server. until obviously you remove the ban. So a couple of other things that come default with this plugin, you're able to teleport to player, you're able to teleport player to you, and you're also able to spectate the player. Now, just so that you're aware, when you click on this button, spectate player, it's actually going to kill your character. So if you have loot and stuff on your body, you're gonna be lying there in a dead body and somebody is able to come grab your stuff. So make sure when you click on this button, you're in a safe location so that somebody can't come along and loot all of your stuff. Anyway, so we click on the spectate player button, it immediately kills us, and then we become that player, and we can spectate them through their eyes. We can go through and we can see their permissions. If you have the backpack plugin installed, you can view what's in their backpack. We come to one of the first plugins that you actually have to install separately in order to be able to use this, which is Inventory Viewer. Oh, sorry, I skipped over Freeze. Freeze is another plugin that we would have to add in extra, which we are going to do so that I can show you exactly what it looks like once you actually have the plugin installed. So Freeze and Inventory Viewer. I'm gonna go ahead and install both of those plugins and I'll show you that this GUI will then look a little bit different. So now that we have those two plugins installed, we can actually see that the GUI has actually changed. So now I can actually click on the view inventory button. It's no longer grayed out. I can also now click on the freeze button and it would actually freeze my character and literally freezes the character right in position. Like it stops them right dead. So if they happen to be flying, it's going to freeze them in that location and their heli is going to fly away from them. And then if you unfreeze them, they're gonna fall to their death if they're high enough up in the air. So be careful when you're using that function. As far as view inventory goes, I mean, it's pretty standard stuff. If you click on view inventory, it's literally going to show you the inventory. So now, right now you're seeing my inventory right here, but in this section right here, this is what you're seeing as the player that I clicked on. If I go back and click on one of my offline players, let's say, let's go to Banshee and see what his inventory looks like. So now you, again, you can see my inventory in the middle section and then the loot section is actually Banshee's inventory. Let's say we wanted to see what was in Banshee's backpack. There we go, Banshee happens to have nothing inside of their backpack, so whatever, it doesn't show anything. If you wanted to be able to see the permissions of a particular player, they actually have to be online. And if we just click on permissions while we're looking at that specific character, it'll bring up the permissions manager with all of that player's permissions, just them, not their group not anything else, just that specific player. And then at the bottom of the GUI, you can see some fairly obvious commands that you can use. We can hurt this player by 25. We can hurt them by 50, we hurt them 70. We can also kill them, straight up kill them. We can heal them. We can do all of these commands and they do work. It will actually function. So I made sure that I'm not in God mode and I'm not, and I can click on hurt 25. And you can see my health then goes down by 25. If I do it again, bring it down by another 25. And I'm not going to do it again because it'll almost kill me. But I can just click heal to 100% and it brings me back to full health again. As you can see by my health bar in the bottom right hand corner. 
So another button you might have seen and wanted to see what's going on on my server is banned players. And if we click on banned players, it's actually going to read from the file that is inside of our server folder that is just holding our banned players names. So I'm going to click on this, but I'm not going to show you guys the names of the players that are actually banned from my test server because that might be embarrassing for them. I'm not sure. I'm just not going to do it. So this is going to be censored out, but this is exactly what it looks like right here. So you can actually see all of the players that are banned from your server. So if we click on one of their names, we can actually go in and unban them if we so chose. Gives you the ability to control the names that are on your ban list, adding and removing. So all in all, this is just, it's just another one of those tools to help you administrate on your server. It gives you a way to individually manage players and you can mess with players, you control players. It's funny as all hell when you freeze a player in midair and then they fall to their death when you unfreeze. But be careful with it. You don't want to be that admin. You don't want to be that server owner that people hate going to because they know they're just going to get tormented by you. And that's no fun for anybody. And it's also not going to help you retain any players on your server. Okay, so that's basically it for player administration. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Show that YouTube algorithm some love. If you haven't already done so, make sure you join the Discord. I'm going to put a link to it up above me right now. I'm going to put a link to it in the video description down below. There's just over 600 members inside that Discord, and there's a ton of people in there that just want to help share the knowledge. Exactly what I'm doing right here for you right now, but they're available around the world 24 hours a day. There's usually somebody available to help you out. While I'm typically not available 24 hours a day, there's somebody in there that is. Once you're actually in the Discord, you have the ability to tag one of my Patreons. And my Patreons, every single one of them are incredibly helpful. They've helped so many new members get started on their own servers. And I've never even gotten the opportunity to talk to these new members. My Patreons just seem to take care of it and I never hear from that person ever again. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you'd like to become a Patreon and help support the server, you can go to patreon.com slash srtbull and you get your name on the list to my right. These are my current Patreons. These are the people that took it upon themselves to take their hard-earned money and give it to me in an effort to help support the channel so that I can keep bringing you guys better and better content each and every week. If you want your name to be on this list, check me out at patreon.com slash srtbull. If you guys would like to check out more videos along this same category, I've put them all in a really nice category. You can click on that playlist on the right hand side of the screen right now. And of course, if you haven't already done so, make sure you click on the subscribe button just down below me. I hope to see you guys back next Friday. I think I'm finally going to show you guys the sneak peek that I keep alluding to about the new rateable basis. Actually, it's so new that it's not even available yet. It's from a top secret plugin developer and it's going to put all of these other rateable basis plugins to shame, I assure you. And I, I just want to give you guys a little bit of a kind of a teaser as to what that plugin is going to look like. So stay tuned. That's going to be next Friday's video. So until then, I hope you guys all stay safe. Make sure you're taking care of each other and I'll see you guys next Friday.